This is a sports catastrophe production. Hey there, hey there, hello there. It's Jeff Ken Dunman welcoming you to another sports catastrophe on this day. And on this day, January 23rd, we celebrate the Buffalo Bills and the Kansas City Chiefs from 1994. Yes, that's right. Strange as it sounds, in real life, Buffalo and Kansas City are facing each other for a conference title tomorrow, in fact. And almost 27 years to the day, Buffalo and Kansas City last met in the AFC title game. Buffalo, of course, this is their first title game since 94, whereas Kansas City has been to several championship games. Well, they are the many Super Bowl champs. What do you expect? So anyway, so the 93-94 NFL playoffs were in and all that. The, the 93 season was basically the season that the NFL stupidly decided to conduct the season over 18 weeks, which meant that each team would get two buys instead of just the normal one buy. That meant that the bye week between the conference championship game and the Super Bowl was removed. So yeah, it was kind of awkward in a sense. But anyway, in the AFC, Buffalo, Houston, and Kansas City all won their divisions. But because of Buffalo and Houston both going 14 and 2, as it seemed, Buffalo and Houston would um, get the would host games in the divisional round. Kansas City would have to play in the wild card round, dealing with the Raiders, the Broncos, and the Steelers. So basically, the West was best in a sense. They had three teams in the playoffs: Chiefs, Raiders, Broncos. The Raiders, man, oh man. This was the second last season for the Raiders in Los Angeles before they moved to Oakland. That was in San Fran with the class of the NFC. They were the best. They won their divisions. They were the one, two seat playoff seats. Detroit was the three seat. They won the Central, which is great, but then they had to deal with the Giants, Vikings, and Packers. So again, we had a team with three wild card, with three teams in the playoffs. Those Central, Lions, Vikings, and Packers. Surprised the Vikings that well. I mean, they got rid of Herschel Walker. I don't know where they kept him. I think they kept him. Something like that. But anyway, the playoffs started January 8th, 1994. At the Pontiac Silverdome, Green Bay shocked Detroit 28-24. A lot of people said it wasn't a shock because, you know, it's Detroit in the playoffs. They've only won one playoff game in the Super Bowl era. No, sorry, they've won two, haven't they? No, I think it's one or two. One or two. I, I think it's one, isn't it? In the Super Bowl era? But, yeah. So, yeah. So, that was a big win for Green Bay in Detroit. Sterling Sharp got a touchdown in the final minute. But, Kansas City had to fight off Bill Cower and the Steelers 27-24 in overtime. On January 9th, the Giants took care of Minnesota 17-10 on home turf, whereas the Raiders crushed Denver at the Memorial Coliseum 42-24 in what would be the last game playoff game at LA Memorial Coliseum ever, I think. Unless they got the Rams, but I, I think the Rams played at LA Memorial in the playoffs. I don't know. Anyway, what was weird about the Giants in 93-94 is that they had 12 wins. They were one of the best teams around in the NFC. However, they had they had if they had beaten Dallas on the final week of the season, then the Giants would have had the one seat, and the Cowboys would have been number four. But Dallas won on a field goal, and Emmitt Smith's broken shoulder didn't limit him and all that. Anyway, the Giants went into San Francisco on January fifteenth and got blown out forty-four to three. Kind of embarrassing, don't you think? Sending Phil Simms and LT to retirement. Whereas Buffalo skated by the Raiders by six points. So so then on the 16th, Green Bay took on Dallas. And Brett Favre was not as superpowers yet. And Dallas easily beat Green Bay by 10. Whereas at the Astrodome, Kansas City shocked the world by taking down Houston 28-20 in Houston. Houston had a 11-game winning streak. They were basically... Piecing together, they had a few incidents in the in the season. You know, Bud Adams making some kind of speech that his one of his offensive linemen took time off to be with his wife and baby, saying that the team comes first and all that, and basically him being called sexist and all that shit. And Houston's Jeff Alm 
who's a defensive tackle, basically getting in an accident with his friend. His friend died and then um, committed suicide. Yeah, Houston had some issues, but they smiled through it. Warren Moon was still there. But Kansas City won. Joe Montana, after San Francisco decided to go with Steve Young for the future, he went, he went to Kansas City and took care of business. He got them past the, Ast the Astrodome crowd of the Oilers. And if you can remember J.J. Burden's spike into the mouth of a Buddy Ryan poster. Kansas City came back to Houston. That would actually have great ramifications for Houston. The others, the Houston franchise would slip and then they moved to Tennessee. It took them a while to get back to order. Buffalo would take on Kansas City, whereas Dallas would take on San Francisco. Of course, we're focusing on the AFC championship game, meaning that the NFC, Dallas crushed Stanford by 17, and Dallas beat Buffalo for the Super Bowl. Everyone knows Buffalo beat Kansas City. That scored 30 to 13. So I just wanted to make sure that you guys were aware of things. And all that. So, yeah, a lot of things happened. Also, a tidbit about the Chiefs Steelers wildcard game. That was the last. Until 2018. No, until the twenty until twenty nineteen. That was the last time the Chiefs won a home game in the postseason. It took them twenty five years. Wow. Packers, you know, with that big, shocking win over Detroit. And it's the last time the Lions have ever hosted a playoff game. And the final game at the Silver Dome. Um, uh, Vikings Giants. Not really much happened in there. Broncos, Los Angeles. Yeah, Broncos and Raiders. Well, they're great. Now that, uh, Buffalo, Los Angeles, 29-23. Yep, uh, ba -ba. Just trying to get the facts here. If there's anything cool I missed. But I don't think I missed anything too much. Yeah, Houston basically slipped in, slipped that day. Buffalo beat Kansas City 30-13. Furman Thomas was fantastic. 186 rushing yards, three touchdowns. And basically the Chiefs, even though they, they only allowed 39 rushing yards from Houston in the divisional round, got crushed for 229 by Buffalo's running offense. So a lot of things happened there. Ferber Thomas got a touchdown run in the first quarter. A pair of Nick Lowry field goals made it 7-6. Ferber Thomas got another touchdown run. Christie kicked a few field goals. Marcus Allen got the only Kansas City touchdown. Yeah, Ferber Thomas got three touchdowns. Christie got three field goals. Weird. The worst part about things for Kansas City was that Joe Montana suffered a concussion during the third play of the third quarter and left the game, making Dave Craig coming in. For the Bills, they liked it. 30-13. It was actually the third straight year that they defeated a Hall of Fame quarterback to advance to the Super Bowl. In 92, they took care of John Elway and the Broncos. 93, they took care of Dan Marino and the Dolphins. And 94, they took care of Joe Montana and the Chiefs. Well, 91 was the Raiders, but Jeff Hosteller was n not Jeff Hosteller. Bleh. Marinovich was no good player. Montana became the first quarterback to get seven starts in a conference championship game. Unfortunately, that wouldn't last last. Tom Brady in 2013 broke that with eight conference championship games he's played. Well, now he's in his 14th, coming up tomorrow. He also joined a select group to start in the conference championship with two different franchises, Craig Borden, Doug Williams, and Jay Schrader. Oh, yeah, Jay Schrader was the guy for the Raiders, not Maranovich. And this was after the third time the Chiefs and Bills met in the playoffs to that point. The, the Chiefs and Bills met in the AAFL championship game to decide who would go to the Super Bowl one. And the Bills beat the Chiefs in the divisional round in 91-92. Didn't know that. 
So anyway, Dallas is supposed to be San Francisco. All that. But that game would actually be famous, the Dallas San Fran game, because that was the last time CBS did an NFC game for a while. So basically, yeah. So CBS lost their NFL rights to Fox for them to NFC. CBS would come back in '98 doing the eight. AFC taking care of NBC. Call that. So Dallas won the Super Bowl, as everyone knows, and I think that's all you need to know about this famous moment. Except, you know, I gotta make my picks. So let's see. Will the Kansas City Chiefs beat the Buffalo Bills to go to their second straight Super Bowl? The answer yes. Mahomes is, as long as Mahomes is healthy, I can't see why not. Buffalo's got Josh Allen. He's going to be a superstar. But I just don't see them taking down Kansas City. After all, Kansas City beat Buffalo in the regular season. And for Tampa Green Bay, I hate to say this. I know I'm a Tom Brady guy. I got his jersey and all that. But I got to go to Green Bay because there's a jinx that every time that there's a potential home team, a home team potentially hosting the Super Bowl, they can't do it. And Tampa will fall to this jinx, and Green Bay will host. I don't think they really, really host the Super Bowl. Green Bay will beat Tampa Bay, and then it'll be Chiefs Packers, just like Super Bowl one. That's what everyone likes a rebirth Super Bowl. Who knows what could happen? It is 2021. Anything can happen. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.